Yeah, I remember what it felt like. It's just a small town kind of life. Hello, it's Beth. I have a get ready with me today. Um, this is just my everyday look at the moment. I have literally been wearing this look for so long and if you've seen my videos before, before this channel was born, before it was a thing, you've probably seen loads of these products before because I've been using the same products for years but they work, this is what it does and I'm okay with it. So if you would like to see what makeup I apply every single day then keep on watching. I literally just sat down to film and then this little shit bag on my face just exploded everywhere. <laughs> so because I've just popped a spot on my chin, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows instead. I never understood why people did their eyes first, and I still don't really. But if I put foundation straight over a spot that I've just popped, it's just gonna be like... I am gonna put a little bit of concealer on my eyes first though, because I feel like when I do my eyes first, um, I don't really use an eye primer, I just use a concealer. When I do my eyes first, for some reason, my eyes like still look really just strange, like they don't blend in if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to put a bit of concealer on them. You yeah, know. This is Collection Last Imperfection as always. Where is my brush? Where is my brush? I'm just going to put a little bit of Stay Matte Powder over the top of that. We don't want no crease then here. Thank you very much. For my eyebrows I use the L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Expert in 102 cool blonde and I love this because it's one of those like windy uppy ones and it's got a spoolie on the other end so it's so handy brush them up and then I literally just fill them in um if you want me to do a separate video on them I will but like you'll see how I do it <laughs> I'll come back to them later if I'm not happy with them, but eyebrows nearly done. They always look crazy when you haven't got any other makeup on. I use the NYX uh, Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is really old and minging now, but yeah. There's literally so much dried fake tan all over my dressing gown that it looks stinking dirty. And then for my eyes, I usually just use a mixture of the Naked Palette and the... Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. The first Naked Palette is the only Naked Palette I have and I literally love it. It's like my holy grail. But why do people buy so many like of the same colour? Do you know what I mean? Like if it's different, fair enough. But if it's exactly the fucking same, what are you doing? So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Naked first and just put that basically everywhere and um, oh my god it keeps going on my bed I'm gonna go through the crease basically everywhere this is a hymn for the hymn la 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 once I have that I'm gonna take the colour buck which is basically the same just slightly darker um, and just go over the top of that but focusing it like in the crease deepen it out you know Once I have that on, I'm going to go into the Anastasia palette and there is a gold in the Naked palette but I prefer this one because it's a little bit lighter and it's not as like Christmas time party gold. So what's it called? Prim Primavera? Pra How the hell do you say that? I don't know but it's this gold colour. So pretty. And I'm just going to, actually I'm just going to take that on my finger and it goes right on my lid. They're pretty, especially with these um, box lights. Roll up to the front, let them run, we don't ballet. I'm obsessed with Kesha's album, like someone help me, I can't stop singing it. Then I'm gonna go back to my Naked palette and I'm gonna take the colour Sidecar, which is like, mm, it's like, um, I don't even know how to describe this. It's not coppery, it's not gold. It's like brown with sparkles in it. How the hell do you describe that colour? I don't know. But with just a flat brush, goes on the outer bit of my lid and I'm gonna run a little bit of that colour on the lower lash line as well
Next thing I'm going to do is take the light shimmery colour called Vermeer, is it? From uh, the Anastasia palette and just with my finger. That colour is so creamy. And you guessed it. In a corner, life. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back to the original brush I was using and the first colours we were using and basically blend everything together and blend the edges out as well. I was busy thinking about boy. <laughs> Has anyone seen that Gemma Collins one when she says girls all the time? I literally spent an embarrassing amount of time scrolling through the Gemma Collins um, Twitter the other day. Not her actual one obviously, I mean the the meme one. <laughs> I'm gonna stick um, a coat of mascara on, but I'm not gonna do my lashes yet. I'm gonna do my face makeup first, because to be fair, I just feel naked without it, and eyes look weird without your face makeup done, in my opinion. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. <sighs> Mate. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, because I am putting lashes on anyway, um, and I like to do my bottom lashes after I put my falsies on. So, right, let's get this foundation going because I don't want to look like this anymore. I have so many different shades of foundation, but any girls who fake tan, you know the struggle. I have been using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte for so freaking long and I still do love it, like it does the job, but I am on the lookout for a good new foundation. So if you've got any recommendations, um, I have acne prone skin. <laughs> as you can see. I feel like I always decide to film a makeup video or like a get ready with me when I'm breaking out. Whatever. Shit happens. Um, so yeah, if you've got any recommendations for a good kind of nice fullish coverage um, drugstore foundation, I'd be super grateful. So when I've fake tanned like I have, now I did it last night, I tend to take the colour Natural Rose. A little bit of that. And then I drop the lid. And then I also take the colour Sand, except I only put a little bit of this in because this is like way too dark for me, but Natural Rose on its own is too light, so you know. And then I mix that in with my finger a little bit first. La, 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 la. And then I have the enormous Real Technique sponge. Um, I don't really know why, like I feel like this was sold out as well when I, when I got this, which was quite a while ago. I am in need of a new sponge very soon because I don't think you should keep these for too long because I feel like a lot of bacteria gets into the sponge I might be just talking shit but that's what I feel like but yeah I don't know why I picked up the massive one I just thought oh my god it's a big sponge way hey. and I do like using it it's just a little bit of a pain to get into like concealer areas and stuff and I, I love using a sponge for concealer anyway tangent over. I put this on my face with my finger because I've mixed it in with our finger and then take a little bit more and bounce away. <coughs> I am gonna have to probably go over the inner corner colour again because I'm gonna have to be putting foundation in my um, inner corner bags. Hair flick. Blend it down the neck. You gotta blend it down the neck. Hello, beautiful. How are you home? I'm fucking drenched. So I'm coming home to get changed and I'm going back to work. Ah. Man, can't that. Are you videoing? Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's all right. I'm not talking at this point. <laughs> Next change. Hey. <laughs> I feel heavy my socks are. Oh, I didn't want to left. Pain in my ass. So I just used um, number one bay underneath my eyes and to highlight, you know, you know. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use uh, number two cool medium to do all my blemishes and bread areas. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna do a quick once over with some trusty stay matte and then I'm gonna use hula hula I feel like I need a new one soon I kind of want to get the hula light though because I'm very fair and I feel like 
Hula Light is such a good um, contour colour. Yeah, I just use this as basically um, bronzer and contour. I stick my chin out so funny when I'm doing my jaw. And then the best part, highlight. I still use uh, the Balm's Mary Luminizer. I don't know, I just, I've still got tons left and it's so good. Like, you know how highlighter just suddenly became a thing and like glowy skin suddenly became a thing? I feel like it'll probably go back to everyone wanting to be really matte at some point and it'll just be weird to think. Remember when we used to douse our face in highlighter? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my eyelashes. Um, I always use Ardell Wispies. Favorite lashes ever. Okay, I'm gonna do my lashes and be back. Lashes on, I'm just going to um, put a bit more mascara on and actually do my bottom lashes. For lips today, I'm actually going to use my lip scrub because the colour I want to use really clings to either like bits of foundation that's on your lips or dry skin. So I'm going to use a lip scrub. This one's from Lush and it's called Honey. I think this was just one of those um, Lush Kitchen products, so I don't think you can get it in store, but all the lip scrubs are really nice. That's better and it tastes so good as well. So the lipstick I'm going to use is the L'Oreal, uh, one of the matte lip paints in uh, 208 off-white and I basically got this because I'm obsessed with um, Jordan Lipscomb's videos lately and she uses this and I was like mm, I need it okay on it goes and then I'm actually going to use a gloss over the top I would prefer to use kind of a coloured gloss like one that's similar colour to this but um, I'm just going to use my uh, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Plumping lip gloss. And that is my everyday makeup look. I've just straightened my hair, put some clothes on. Good to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up because then I'm like, hmm, they like this. I might do another one in future. Know what I mean? Also, you can hit the subscribe button, and if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, you can hit the little bell, little bell next to it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.